Hello, precious people of God. How are you, standers? Those of you that are believing God for that restoration and that marriage, hallelujah, to be healed and for that salvation of that loved one. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for joining me. It is Lakedra. I have come on here with a word to encourage your faith, people of God. And come against those negative thoughts. Many of you all may have just gotten bad news about that marriage. Or you have just gotten divorce papers that have come in recently or whenever. But I have come to you to bring this precious word of God to you. To let you know. Only have faith in God. It is never too late, people of God. It doesn't matter what has died in your life. God is able to raise it up back from the dead. And that's what we're going to get into today. But first, I want to thank all of my first timers for joining me. Thank you so much, people of God, for joining me and you standers. Also for your prayers and your support in the work of God. May the Lord continue to bless you richly in every area of your life. Hallelujah. You know, yesterday I did a teaching on how to keep peace while you're waiting for the restoration in your marriage it was so powerful you know it showed us in that teaching that nothing is too hard for god if he's able to join nations all around the world and cause them to be one he surely can cause you and your spouse to be one in jesus name and have a heart after god's own heart so we want to trust him and let that encourage you people of God, those of you that are standing, know that nothing is impossible for God. You know, I want us to look at the story about this man whose daughter had died, but God told him, only believe, only believe. And you know, that's what the Lord wants you and I to do. Only believe. It doesn't matter about the report or what you've just heard only believe and so I want us to look at it in Luke chapter 8 starting in verse 40 and I want us to read all through so you can see this powerful deliverance that came forth because of faith and this man of God keeping his eyes on the Lord the Bible tells us in verse 40 I want to start there in Luke chapter 8 and I'm reading it all from the New Living Translation, people of God. So follow me and let this word encourage you. Hallelujah. The Bible tells us here in verse 40, On the other side of the lake, the crowds welcomed Jesus because they had been waiting for one. A man named Jairus, a leader of the local synagogue, came and fell at Jesus' feet pleading with him to come home with him. His only daughter, who was about 12 years old, was dying. As Jesus went with him, he was surrounded by the crowds. A woman in the crowd had suffered for 12 years with constant bleeding and she could find no cure. Coming up behind Jesus, she touched the fringe of his robe immediately the bleeding stopped who touched me jesus asked everyone denied it and peter said master this whole crowd is pressing up against you but jesus said someone deliberately touched me for i felt healing power go off from me when the woman realized that she could not stay hidden she began to tremble and fell to her knees in front of him the whole crowd heard her explain why she had touched him and that she had been immediately healed. Daughter, he said to her, your faith has made you well. Go in peace. While he was still speaking to her, a messenger arrived from the home, the home of Jairus, the leader of the synagogue. He told him, your daughter is dead. There's no use troubling the teacher now. But when Jesus heard what had happened, he said to Jairus, 
Don't be afraid. Just have faith and she will be healed. When they arrived at the house, Jesus wouldn't let anyone go in with him except Peter, John, James, and the little girl's father and mother. The house was filled with people weeping and wailing, but he said, stop the weeping. She isn't dead. She's only asleep. But the crowd laughed at him because they all knew she had died. Then Jesus took her by the hand and said it aloud in a loud voice, my child, get up. And at that moment, her life returned and she immediately stood up. Then Jesus told them to give her something to eat. Her parents were overwhelmed, but Jesus insisted that they not tell anyone what had happened. Oh, people of God, this is a powerful, powerful story that happened with Jairus' daughter, or Jairus. We could see that when he received the bad news and this report that his daughter had died, you know, because in the beginning she was dying. It was not over for her at that time. She was, she was still alive. But as time was, was moving on, things had gotten worse. Here Jairus had found the Lord and fell at his feet, pleading for the Lord to come and lay hands on his daughter who was 12 years old at the time so that she would be healed. But things got worse, you know, even though he had pleaded to the Lord, he was right there before him at his feet, but yet time was still passing and things steady got worse. It began to steady get worse, but the Lord was still there with him by his side. And the news came that it was over. His daughter was dead and it was no longer needing for him to. He didn't need to no longer trouble the master. But the Lord, the Bible says, turned around after hearing what they said to him and told him, number one, don't be afraid. And that's what the Lord is saying with you and I, people of God, no matter what you are facing. Number one, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of anything, any negative report, anything that has come your way. Number one, don't be afraid. Hallelujah. Just have faith, he said. That's it. Just have faith. And she will be healed is what he told them. And that is exactly what the Lord is saying unto us. Don't be afraid. Only have faith concerning that situation, concerning that spouse of yours you're standing in the gap for, concerning that marriage you're standing for. The Lord is saying, don't be afraid of what has happened in that situation. Only believe, just have faith, and it will be healed. You'll see the salvation of that loved one. This is how you will see the miracle come forth. When you are not afraid. When you are not afraid. And when you have faith. Hallelujah. And remember faith comes by hearing. And hearing the word of God. Faith comes. When we keep our thoughts. Fixed on what is true. And what is lovely and of a good report. Only believe. And what was the good report? She will be healed. The Lord wanted him to think about that good thing. Your daughter will be healed. That, that was the most powerful thing he could ever had he, he could ever had said to Jairus about his daughter. She will be healed. And that's what God wants you to focus on, people of God. That spouse or that marriage will be healed. They will come out. Know that they will come out. Know that that marriage will will be healed. Keep the fear out. Keep the fear out first and foremost. And keep your eyes and your faith and your trust in God. Pay attention to his saying. Pay attention to his power. 
focused only on his promise. And that was his promise to Jairus. Your daughter will be healed if you have faith. The Lord is saying the same things to you and I, people of God. Only have faith and your marriage will be healed. That spouse you're standing in the gap for will be saved. Only believe. It's only by your faith. And your trust in his promise. And that's what Jairus did. He began to follow the Lord. Keeping his eyes upon him. As they headed back to his home. He was trusting in the Lord. He had trust in his promise. That his daughter will be healed. All he had to do was don't be afraid and believe. That is exactly what the Lord is saying to you and I. Don't be afraid of that, that news that has come your way or that report. Or those divorce papers that you are seeing stating that it is over in your marriage. That it is over between you and your spouse or, or that relationship they may be in. It may look like it's over. Or those drugs or whatever they are bound with, that spouse of yours. These things may be showing signs that it is over. But God is saying, don't be afraid. Just believe. Just believe and you'll see that situation turn around. Just believe and you'll see that marriage healed and restored. Just believe and you'll see that spouse come out of darkness and into God's marvelous light. Remember the word of God tells us that we can pray and intercede on their behalf. And they will be saved for this is what pleases the Lord. Only believe people of God. Hallelujah. For God cannot lie. We can trust in every word. Pay attention only to his sayings. Remember the word of God tells us. And so when Jairus made it to the home, the Bible says, the Lord went in and took her by the hand and said aloud, my child, get up. And at that moment, her life was returned because of Jairus having faith. Because he believed and he held on to that promise. That his daughter would be healed. And the Bible tells us. That she got up. Hallelujah. She got up immediately. And stood up. Hallelujah. And her parents were overwhelmed. They were overwhelmed. And filled with so much joy. They saw that miracle come forth. And that is exactly what's coming your way. If only you will believe. Don't be afraid of what has come in the mail. Don't be afraid of what you're seeing happening in the life of that spouse of yours. Don't be afraid because you haven't got a phone call or text or you're hearing crazy things or you're seeing crazy things or, or you're surrounded by things that looks hopeless in your situation. Only believe and attend to his sayings. Remember the Bible tells us this. In Proverbs chapter 4, the word tells us in verse 20, My child, pay attention to what I say. Listen carefully to my words. And that is what we saw happen with Jairus. He had to pay attention to the Lord. He could not go off of what he was hearing. He couldn't pay attention to the report that he received. He had to keep his eyes on the Lord. He had to only pay attention to what he said. Listening carefully to his words and his promise. But the Bible says, well, don't lose sight of them. Let them penetrate deep in your heart. For they bring life to those who find them and heal into their whole body. Guard your heart above all else. For it determines the course of your life. And avoid all perverse talk and stay away from corrupt speech. It tells us in verse 24. And also, verse 25, it says to look straight ahead and fix your eyes on what lies before you. Mark out a straight path for your feet. Stay on the safe path. Don't get sidetracked. Keep your feet from following evil. And you see, this is what the word of God is saying to us, people of God. We have to pay attention to only what the Lord is saying. 
He says, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Only believe. Don't get sidetracked by the bad reports. Let the word of God penetrate in your heart, in your mind and guard it. Hallelujah. Keep you walking in that peace. Hold on to the promises of God. Remember what God has joined together. Let no man separate. No man could separate it. Only believe and know, hallelujah, what the scriptures is saying in Ephesians chapter 5, verse 31. The Bible says that a man leaves his father and mother and is joined to his wife and the two are united into one. This is a great mystery. But it is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. You want to believe that your marriage is an illustration of the way Christ and the church are one. And that what God has joined together, no man could separate it. It is bound, hallelujah, by the work of the Lord. That marriage shall live and not die. You want to stand on that promise. Remember the Lord is saying, only believe. Don't be afraid of what you are seeing. Don't be afraid of the terror by night. You will see the wicked come down. You will see that enemy that has come in to attack and to divide what God has joined together. If you will stand your ground and hold on to his promises, you will see that marriage healed. You will see the salvation of that loved one come to pass. You will see them delivered and set free if you only believe. Hallelujah. And don't be afraid, people of God. And fear will leave every time when you pay attention to his sayings. When you hear his voice, hallelujah. So what because news have come in? Uh, so what because things has happened? Keep your eyes on the Lord and pay attention to only what he has said. Remember, it's the enemy. He comes in once you, once you are standing and trusting God. Oh, he will fight every time. He wants to get you to give up and let go of that promise. But the moment you hold on, as the Lord told Jairus to do, he says, only believe, don't be afraid. Hallelujah. And she will be healed. Your daughter will be healed. So you see, faith, hallelujah, is all you need, people of God. Having faith in God, praise the Lord. This is what will move the mountain. This is what caused the miracles. This is what causes it. Praise the Lord and keep the fear out. We walk by faith and not by sight. We are far above principalities. I'm here to declare, people of God, you are coming out as long as you keep standing and trusting God. That marriage is healed, delivered, and set free if you hold on and trust in Him. Trust in the Almighty, the one who is. Hallelujah. The one that says, fear not, for I am with you. Hallelujah. Let not your heart be troubled. And neither let it be afraid, for you are overcoming this thing, people of God. We are going to stand our ground and keep our trust in the Lord. Praise the Lord for the word of God. You will see manifested, for they are life and living and sharper than any two-edged sword. They prosper where to the things they are sent. Declare that your marriage is healed, delivered, and set free, and stand on it, and never let it go. Hallelujah. You will see that promise come to pass. Praise the Lord. I've come to encourage you, people of God. I've come to stand with you and allow you to see that God, hallelujah, is telling you, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid of that negative news. Don't be afraid of what has come your way. Only believe you will see that healing and that restoration and that deliverance. Praise the Lord, just like J.I.R. saw and even the woman that had 12 years of the issue. She had 12 years where she had suffered in her sickness, but she trusts God as well. And God delivered her and brought healing to her life. And I'm telling you, the Lord God surely can do it for you and I when we keep our trust in him, no matter what has come our way. We're going to pray, people of God, and stand together. We're going to come against whatever fear that is coming against your mind. We're going to cast it down. Hallelujah. Begin to give thanks and praise unto the Lord, knowing that our breakthrough, that breakthrough is near, that breakthrough has come. Hallelujah. Father God, we thank you for your word of encouragement and peace and deliverance. Hallelujah. For we know, Lord God, nothing is too hard for you. 
thank you that spouses are healed and delivered and set free, Father God, because our faith is in your word. Our trust is in you, Father God. Thank you, Lord God. We know that it is done. No weapon that is formed against us can prosper. We're walking by faith and our trust is in you, Lord God, as your word tells us what you have joined together. Let no man separate, Lord God. We declare and decree that these marriages, they illustrate Christ and the church united into one. Where a husband is loving his wife as his own body and that wife is being submitted unto her husband in everything. We are declaring, Lord God, that stony, stubborn hearts are coming out. As your word tells us, Lord God, you will take it out and remove it. You are placing them a clean heart and a right spirit. And you will put your spirit in them and cause wayward spouses to walk in your ways and obey your regulations. Thank you, Lord God, that these marriages are a blessing and a gift from you. And they are covered by the blood. And thank you, Lord God, nothing can separate it. And we give you the praise. In Jesus' holy name and all the people of God says, amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. Trust him, people of God. Know that God has heard that prayer. And remember that he loves you and I love you too. And until next time, bye-bye.